How dare you serve me, coach? I'm sorry, my prince. But you were the one that asked me to keep the food in your heart when it was still hot. Now talk back at me. No, my prince, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry for your generation and your miserable family. Jenna, what have you done? <laughs> what is wrong with you? This, this is the height of it. Must you always do this? Oh, Lama, what is your problem this time? What do you gain in bullying people around you? What's your problem? And what interest of yours is it how I choose to treat my subjects? It concerns me because they are our people. You're supposed to protect them and not to maltreat them. I go to war every day to protect them. Yes. You go to war every day to protect them from external attacks. Then you come back and kill them internally. You can know this is not what the people expect from their future king. And who cares what they think? It is very obvious. It is very obvious that you go to war with other kingdoms, not to protect your people, but to show how powerful you are. You, 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 you go to war to feed your ego. Enough! How cruel can you be? How cruel can you be to your own people? Is it not about time you changed? Is it not? A, a prince that does not care about the feeling and the welfare of his people is not worthy to be called a prince. If you weren't my sister, I would crush every single bone in your body this minute. You will not do me anything, Ikena. I will continue to tell you the truth until you change. Stop treating people badly. You are not a monster. <gasps> you have not said anything yet. Uh -uh. Who is making my beautiful princess angry this hot afternoon? Alamma, what is it? Father, mother, you have to warn your son. The way he maltreats people around him is becoming so alarming and I don't like it. What has it done again this time around? A maiden served him food this afternoon. He asked the maiden to keep the food in his pot. Father, can you imagine that he slapped the same maiden for serving him cold food? He even, he even smashed the food on her face. And when I confronted him, he said he would break me. Can you imagine? Olamma, are you done? So you had the guts to belittle your brother, the prince, before his subjects. And you still come here to report him. Let me tell you if you don't know. Ikenna is the prince. And the way he chooses to treat his subjects. It's none of your concern. Mother, what are you talking Shut about? Shut up! And let me tell you for the last time. Don't get on his way next time. Because you'll be responsible for whatever thing he does. Oh, that is enough, Lolo. I think you're missing the whole point here. Igwe, the point is that all of my your daughter here is undermining the prince's authority before his subject. And she thinks it's not him. That is not the point. The point actually is that your son is gradually turning into a monster and you think everything is okay. Are you not seeing it every day? The way it treats people like rag in this kingdom. Are you not seeing it? Now, what kind of a king do you think you would become when he finally succeeds me? Oh, no boss! No boss, no, no. Do you think this kingdom would be this peaceful and successful if I or other kings before me treat the people the way he's treating them? Come to think of it. How long do you think the people will condone the madness from the prince before some kingdoms begin to clamor for autonomy? Warn your son. Warn your son before it is too late. But Igwe, honestly, you're taking this whole thing too far. My son I am done with you. What nonsense. Honestly, I don't understand. Father, why is mother always doing this? Why 
Why does she support Ikena when it's very obvious that he is wrong? I which I know. But don't mind your mother. Huh. Hola, ma. Please go and get me the head guard. This is where you are, and I've been looking for you. Enough already. Stop crying, okay? My Stop. princess, why are we being maltreated? <laughs> it's okay. I will make sure this whole thing stops. It will stop. My okay? princess, this is not the first. And this is not the second. And it certainly won't be the last. Who are we being treated? To serve in the palace now seems like a crime. <laughs> I know, I know. I know. Then why are we be maltreated? <laughs> like Osu, outcast in our own kingdom by the same person that is meant to protect us. It's okay, I understand how you feel. <laughs> but I'm telling you now that you're not an outcast. <laughs> you are not and you will never be. <laughs> I am not happy. <laughs> I am not happy the way the prince has been maltreating everyone around me. <laughs> and I promise you that it will stop. I put a stop to it, okay? Enough already, stop crying. I promise you, <laughs> I'll give you some days off. You will go home and take care of yourself. You can return whenever you want. Thank you, my princess. You're so kind. <laughs> now, I... You need to promise me. I, I don't want this to go beyond this palace. I don't want any other ear to hear of it. Will you promise me that? My princess, I'll do anything for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> then you tell me when you're ready to go. Don't well. worry. <laughs> Alright, All right, let's go. Let's go. I can't leave you here. <laughs> 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 But seriously, Chita, hmm. I wonder why Odochi will not let me be. She now follows me around like a lost spirit and is beginning to annoy me. Oh, you think this is funny, huh? <laughs> you made it sound funny. You say she's following you around like a lost spirit and you expect me not to laugh. <laughs> but that's what it seems like. The girl is stalking me and I don't like it. Serious, there will be now. I think you should give her a chance. Mm. Udochi is a very beautiful maiden mm. and from a very wealthy home. So many men will die to have her, but she prefers you. It is obvious she loves you. But I don't love her. Let her choose from one of those men who would die to have her. And maybe save a life. Upina, why are you being this difficult? I wouldn't let that maiden slip off my hands if I were you. Mm. But you're not me. So end of discussion. I think you are sick in the head. And I'm surprised you're just noticing. <laughs> you just mm, this, this, this sour orange I sounded like how sour. And in saying that you take delight in hurting your people. I have not said any such father. So why do you keep attacking the people you are supposed to protect? Just to end my respect. It's that simple. So respect or fear. Father, I need to be respected by my subjects. And in doing so, I need to instill fear in them. That way they won't defy me and keep seeing me as a threat. A threat? Are you supposed to be a threat to your people or an assurance? Listen, have you ever seen anybody disrespect me because I am nice to them? Ikena, what are you gradually turning into? That is the way you have chosen to live your life. Yes, you may be my father, but our ways are way, way different. Oh, would you shut up, Ikena? Ikena, how dare you talk to me in that manner? Now listen. I would be a failed king if I am not able to groom you for this position and the task ahead. Are you not aware of that? Are you saying I'm not ready yet? Physically, you may be ready. Mentally and otherwise, you are not ready. You are a long way off. 
Ikena, listen. The people of Umwelulu Kingdom are very nice people. And they deserve to be treated nicely. Your cruelty on my people is becoming alarming. And it has to stop forthwith. Else, you will force me to take a decision that you and I will regret for the rest of our lives. I don't know why you keep taking sides with these people. Against your child, your son and heir to the throne. I am done with you. Get out of my palace. Get out! Why would father always do this? Why does he always find fault in everything I do? This has to stop. Else. Else. What is the good news, mother? I know you will be eager to hear this. You know DJ, don't you? The one with the biggest ban in this village. Who doesn't know him? He's very popular. What about him? Oh, he is coming to ask for your hand in marriage. Is that the good news? Yes. He said he likes you and that he Ma cannot... Mother, please, enough already. Is that the good news? Please, I am not interested. Why? DG is one of the wealthiest men in this kingdom. And I'm supposed to crawl at his feet because he's wealthy? Is that his mother? When I don't even love him. Keep quiet, Olamma. Why are you rejecting all your suitors? What do you know about love? Enough to reject DG. And as for my suitors, none of them appeals to my heart. Mother, when I see my husband, I will recognize him. En enough of all this already. Enough. What in the girl's name is wrong with you? Don't you want to get married? Your father is really spoiling you. And I cannot take this. What have I done wrong? I mean, I don't love him. Can you but Can you marry even in my goodness begets lotion from the car? You're not looking bright at all. What troubles the Lola of Umwelulu Kingdom? Who dares to incense you? Is it not your daughter? The princess? What did she do? Igwe! Her excesses are becoming unbearable, and I can no longer tolerate that. Lizzie, calm down, bro. Calm down and tell me exactly what the problem is. Igwe, can you imagine? I told her of Digi's visit, and she. <laughs> He lost consciousness, but he will be fine. This one is different though. How do you mean, Esetipia? Is he not going to be alright today? His body is cold and his spirit weak. But he will be fine. Definitely not today. It will take some days for him to recover fully. Then do something. Igwe cannot be in such situation for days with little or no help to resuscitate him faster, please. What the king is suffering from is not a mere sickness. It will take some days, but it will be fine. Oh, yeah. 
Take Lolo. Mix the substance with water. Sprinkle it on him. Morning and evening. It will aid his recovery. Is that all? That is all. But I must warn. Do not use or try any other thing on him. I must take my leave. Thank you, Ezidida. My daughter, let's go and see your father. What is the situation, is it? The king will be fine soon. Have the gods said anything yet? Because we cannot help but wonder why the sudden reoccurrence of this strange ailment without answers. I suggest you all go home and rest. Uh, uh, but there is nothing, absolutely nothing you can do for the king now. Uh, uh, but is it and that okay. is all for now. In that case, I let's go and see. Let's, let's go and see. Let's go and see. Let's go and see. Isioma, did you hear about Digo's latest illness? Hmm. My sister, the news really touched me off. But the question is, why would be the king be suffering from such a strange ailment? I'm as confused as you are, my sister. I even heard that this said that the gods are silent on this. Well, my father will be silent. Now tell me, why would the gods be silent on such a serious issue as this? Or do they want him dead? He going heavy over. He's such a good king. Yes. Hmm. And this kingdom cannot afford to lose him now. You're absolutely right. Hey, I know that Prince Ike now will be happy to see the king dead. Hmm. Shut up, Michio. Why would you say such a thing? Go on, shh. Michio, go on. Isn't it obvious? I know that he wants to be the king sooner than later. This Yoma, be mindful of what you say. Hmm. Remember that the trees, the wind, and even the land you are standing have ears. If they like, let them have nose, mouth, pick it to sit and listen, or even hands. Me, I don't care. Since you've chosen to be Sion, I've said my own. I don't know what's your problem. Anytime I say one thing. I don't know whether you are thinking what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? I begin to wonder the reason behind our Igwe's strange sickness. He seems to be suffering from the same thing every time. And what baffled me so much is that the gods has remained silent over his sickness. Hmm. It is a cause for great concern. But I think the reason may not be far fetched. What do you mean? Igwe may have offended the gods. Ike <sighs> mm -hmm. I disagree with you. Mm -hmm. The Igwe that I know has led this community with pride, yes. dignity and humility. Mm -hmm. I doubt if you might have done anything to offend the gods. But uh, you, and, you and I also know that Enulu it's not the kind of gods that we punish the Igwe for so long before declaring him unfit for the truth. Hmm, you are right there, she. But what do you think? Hmm, I think Ezedibia knows something about this sickness. And he has 
refused to tell us. If that is the case, then we'll force him to talk. Ah, why are you talking like this? You mean we should force his DBA to come? Who are we to force him to talk? We cannot force him. We need the combined force of Uno to make him talk. That is a point. Mm -hmm. That is a point. Thank you. My queen, will you depart from here immediately? Again, now what is the meaning of this nonsense? It depends on what you're referring to as nonsense. Uh, uh, let me let me put this straight, Mother. I did not like what you just did. Now, will you shut up? How dare you talk to me in that manner? Your father did way well, seriously ill. And all you care about is to sleep with every lady that comes your way. You should be ashamed of yourself. What has suddenly come over you, mother? Why this whole drama? Should I kill myself because my father is ill? Listen to me, that man has lived his life and it's about time I'm left to live mine at my own terms. Ikenna, what has come over you? What do you think the elders would have said if they had seen you with that maiden? Why your father is still battling with his life? But you taught me to not bother or live my life based on other people's opinion. Oh yes, I did. But not in a situation like this. You can now you should show your father some love. He deserves it. Mother, I am tired this morning. Please, I don't have time for your nagging. Good morning, Nabazi Anadi. You can, are you walking out on me? Why would you be tired? When you were busy all through the night. <sighs> no problem. It is no longer news that our king, Igwe Yeligoba, is passing through a strange headache. And we will not just sit, fold our hands and watch without doing anything. Oh no, you are very correct. Very, very correct. Our king is a great king. And losing him, honestly, will bring a great loss to our kingdom. Pathetic. Oh. Eh, Dibia has been silent all this while. And his silence is making all these things very, very complicated. Now, the question is, what do we do? Can I hear it? I have all that. I have to drink it. I think Eze Dibia knows something and he does not want to say it. I believe he's hiding the truth from us. Like, uh, this allegation you are laying against the SADP, don't forget that the man who makes the coffin is not responsible for death. SADP is a messenger of the gods. He is not the gods. And remember, he has maintained that the gods are yet to speak. That is because he's taking us for fools. What, what is it? What, what, what is the problem? The uh, Igwe is awake. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. You gotta ask me to call the Olo and the Niche. Thanks because I met you all. Niche, call me! Call me! Call me! The gods are wise. Honestly. May the gods be praised. It's okay. 
Uh, you can go. We are coming right behind you. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, uh, so, uh, let's hear. Hey, you have larger ears than mine. <laughs> you heard it from the horse's mouth. Uh, let us go. <laughs> we need to. We need to. <laughs> I must say I am overwhelmed by the love I have received from my people so far. Though I am not fully strong yet, but I must be sincere with you that I am fired up the more to shake off this ailment so that I will be alive and save you the more. I have to stand. Because this is a very, very special moment. I am so happy and I am thankful to the gods immensely. I am thankful to the gods, not just because you are our king, but because you are someone I regard as my personal friend as well. But I have this to say. We shouldn't be carried away by side attractions. Or celebration. This particular element that our king just survived from has been persistent and we, 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 we have to look into it properly. We have to search for a solution. We, I'm talking about lasting solution uh, because uh, failing to do that might be a disaster. It might result something more costly than what we are facing. You are right, Omar. Yes. I thank you, Ndichi. Thank you very much, Ono. It seems you read my mind. This was the focal point of our discussion yesterday, before one of the guards came to announce to us that you have won. Yeah. Your Majesty. The source of this ailment is confusing and we need to find a solution to it as soon as possible. You are right, you are right, you are right. In this year, once again I greet you all. I must thank you all for your concern. But I must say that I am as confused as all of you. It is strange. It is strange for the king of Umwelu kingdom to go through this and the gods choose to remain silent. Uh, the gods has not remained silent. I think I said Dibia knows something and it's time we force him to speak. I don't think Eze Dibia has a reason to hide anything from us or from me personally. In that case, Igwe, let us summon him and hear from him. Exactly. Bon, yes. yes. I have done that already. Uh, I've sent a guard to call him. Oh, here he comes. Ajirija po ajirija o Yesu kwenu gone tu go ajirija Your God Igwe Yes great is the Dibia I must thank you first of all for the great role you played in my recovery But above all I want to know the reason for this strange ailment Has the God said anything yet no, not yet. Why? For how long would I wait for answers? How do they want me to die before they speak? Do not blaspheme, Igwe Helioba. The gods might be silent, but most times the silence is for a good cause. And a few other times. It may be for no good reason, if I understand you well. Ah. Isaac, Dibia. This particular ailment that our king just survived from 
has been resistant, and we we we, we need to we, we, we need we need to seek for solution. We are talking about a lasting solution because it will be abnormal if one goes searching for something in the midst of plenty and comes out with nothing. Mm. Very very abnormal. Sure. So we have to get to the gods and feed us back. We want a lasting solution and quickly too. I, 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 it's a the girls have been speaking on everything that has been happening in this kingdom. Yes, of course. Except that of the illness of our Igwe. And I begin to wonder why. Have the girls turned their back on our Igwe? Or oh. you, it's a DBA, have been stingy with the information. Iche, Erika, be mindful of what you say. In order not to attract a heavy spiritual knock on your head. Eh? <sighs> uh, a we are very sorry if we have spoken out of tone. But the truth is, we, we want answers. We need solutions. Yes. Yes. Igwe, Igwe, I suggest we seek solution somewhere else. Hmm? Yeah, no, no, no. The wisdom of the gods can never be understood by mere mortals like you. When a man runs ahead of his chi, he ends up running an endless race. Wait. Wait for the gods. Your Highness. This meeting is over. Greetings, beautiful maiden of Ogun Kingdom. Thank you, Wichita, but I don't think I'm beautiful. Of course you are beautiful. If not the most beautiful maiden of this kingdom. Then why is your friend avoiding me? Why is he always running away from me like a plague? Why does he hate me so much? Dochi, you are not a plague. And Obina doesn't hate you either. The problem is, he feels he doesn't need a woman around him right now. But he does. Listen, he might not admit to it, but that's the fact. <sighs> Ichita, I love Obina so much, and I feel I'm the ideal woman for him. I just don't know why he's not seeing all of that. I think you love him so much. If that is a question, then the answer is yes. I love Obina so much that I can't even go a single moment without thinking about him. All I'm asking is just an opportunity for me to prove my love for him. Hmm. But that will be hard. Then you have to help me. How? Talk to him. Discuss me with him. Say some nice things about me. You know, try to convince him to give me a chance. Please, just do whatever you can. Hmm. It is rare for a maiden to profess her love for a man. Well, I'll see what I'll do about it, but I'm not promising you yet. If you know Obina, you know how difficult he can be. Shita, please, you have to help me. I am counting on you, please. I'll try. I'll be on my way now. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.
Obina, what are you still doing in there? It's almost sunset. I am coming. That's all I keep hearing. We are late already. <laughs> Obina. I'm ready. Let's go. Why do you like keep people waiting? A moment ago, you were complaining about being late. And now that I'm here, you choose to nag like a woman. Oh, so now I'm nagging like a woman, the choir? That's all you could say. Mba, I'm sorry. You're not nagging like a woman. Please, let's go. You can tell that to the God. See you at Umoma Kingdom. Yeah, are we quarreling? I'm right behind you. All the neighboring kingdom and the entourage. It's that all. What about Ojiko? The man that beats the drum with his tongue. Huh? The famous beautiful the dancers. And yes. the indomitable warriors of Upuil. They um, will all be there. And mostly the beautiful maiden of Umoma Kingdom will be there. <laughs> See, I can't wait to be there. <laughs> you know, perhaps you should consider taking a bride from them. Yes. But you better take your eyes off them. Because Udochi is already waiting in the wings. What in the name of the gods is that supposed to mean? Um, the meaning is that you have kept that maiden in Delma for a very long time now. She loves you so much. But I don't love her. Besides, if she's in confusion, then she's responsible for it. What do you mean? Any man in his right senses cannot reject such a beautiful gesture from, from the most beautiful maiden in the kingdom. Enough of your stupidity, Cheetah. Look. Don't get me angry this afternoon. Alright, alright. I won't say anything again. Can we? Better hurry up before the time you talk about it. I am sorry I could not help you in your farm this morning. I was really tired after yesterday's festival. I understand. Talking about Mama's festival yesterday. Obina. Did you notice all those beautiful maidens around? Especially the princess of Umuelulu. She looks like a goddess. <laughs> you know, you have always lost after beautiful maidens. But I can't help but wonder why they seem not to like you. That makes both of us. I lost after them. None seems to like me. They lost after you, but you don't seem to like any. I wonder if you're confused or something. What is that supposed to mean? Listen up, you know. I am your friend. I cannot deceive you. Udochi, she is the best amongst all. You need to give her a chance. Ah, I saw that coming. So, Chita, you now use every little opportunity to talk about Udochi. She paid you to do this, right? Obinat, stop being ridiculous. How can I be paid for me to talk to my friend? Then what do you have with her? Nothing. Nothing. See, Obinat, you are missing the point here. The point is that I am sick and tired of this Odochi talk every day. Please stop disturbing me with it. Can you fall? Look, I have some dry meat in the house. Let me go in and bring it for us. Except you'd rather talk about Odochi. Udo what? Biko J wa Tahanu Kaita. And what? I thought Odochi was your priority. Keep Udo aside, please. Yeah, go and get him. Please hurry up. My princess, I, I, I don't know if I am wrong. I stand to be corrected. I have noticed that you have been very, very cheerful lately. <laughs> Father, I have always been cheerful. I, I know. But this one is different. You are my daughter. I know you very well. I would have told you if it were not so. And if my memory still serves me well, I think these smiles all started from the Itogbo festival of Amoma Kingdom. So tell me, what is the secret behind it? 
Well, Father, you're not wrong at all. I thought as much. <laughs> I was happy at the festival, but you were the main reason for my happiness. Father, you don't know how, how devastated I was watching you lying on your sick bed, almost lifeless. Father, it hurt me so badly. I love you so much, Father, and I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. Well, I'm not. I love you too. You just know how to calm my spirit. Your words make me stronger by the day. Indeed, you are a blessing to me. Thank you, Father. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome, Father. And please, do not be sick again. I will never be sick again, I promise. <laughs> I love you, Father. <laughs> I love you so much. Adako, now you go. Yes, my yes, princess. Does any of you know anything about that man at Amma Festival? I mean, his kingdom, his name, or anything? Which particular young man are you referring to, my princess? The one that was dancing behind us. Do you know anything about him? My princess, you mean the same one we saw on our way back that was helping an old woman? Exactly. He is the one. Do you know anything about him, please? I'm sorry, my princess. I haven't seen him before, except that day. Same here, my princess. You may go back to your duties. Okay, my princess. You're welcome. Um, Princess Olamma, we have the good news for you. Good yes. news? Yes. <laughs> Prince Udenze of Amucha Kingdom was here to ask for your hand in marriage. Yes. He even promised that he will come back to the palace to do all that is required to have you as his wife before his coronation that is coming up next moment. Isn't that a good news? I'm sorry, yes. Father. I am not interested. What? <laughs> what is wrong with your lap? Nothing is wrong with me, Father. I'm not just interested. Will you shut up? Why do you keep rejecting your suitors? The revered Prince Udeze of Amocha Kingdom is not good for you too. What has come over you, Ola? Nothing is wrong with me, Mother. I have the right to choose my life partner. The person I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. No, my dear. We are your parents. And it's our duty to choose a suitable partner for you. That means you must marry Prince Udenze of Amocha Kingdom, whether you like it or not. Mother, I will not marry him. We're talking about my life here. Please, can you stop already? Stop! Ah, Olama, come back here! But we come want back the here. best for you! Come back here, Olama! It's okay, let her be. I know that she will come to terms with it sooner or later. Please sit down. Sit, please. She better do it because I will not spare her this time. Thank you. <laughs> what in the God's name am I going through? I have ruled this kingdom by the dictates of the gods, but they have always been silenced my problems from the one. First, it was my childlessness for many years of marriage. And now this migraine headache and no answers from the gods yet. Why has Ilulu remained silent to the king of Umuelulu? Is it when I die that the answers will come? Have I wronged Ilulu that she is punishing me? But she should speak up so that I can appease her. Please, Ilulu, I don't want my reign to end in shame. Please show me my wrong so that I can right them. Oh, 
letter that you sent for me? Yes, I did. Let's sit down. My heart is troubled. I feel lonely and abandoned. What? Why would you say such a thing, Father? Have we not always been there for you? It's not what you think, my daughter. I feel abandoned by Lulu. I feel rejected by her. No, no, Father. Do not speak ill of the gods. For they are all knowing. You taught me that, remember? I know I did. But this is beyond me. The silence of the gods is killing me slowly day by day. Your brother's misbehavior is giving me a cause for concern. And then, this periodic migraine headache of mine needs urgent attention. But the gods are not doing anything about it. My princess, I beg you in the name of the gods, do not add to my worries, please, I beg you. How, Father? How? Stop rejecting your suitors. It is time for you to get married. And Prince Udenze of Amucha Kingdom is a perfect match for you. Father, I understand you perfectly well, but I can't marry him. So why can't you marry him? Because I don't love him. Oh, my princess, you... No, Father, please. Can we stop this? I mean, we can talk about something else, but certainly not this. Please, what you need now is to rest. You're not feeling too strong, remember? I'll get you water to drink. Your high. The gods specifically demanded you be here in person for the sacrifice and they have also accepted the sacrifice your highness you are not talking uh, thank you Mr. Divya. thank you you may now go let us wait patiently for your answers. Thank you, Ezedibia. I have to take my leave now. The gods may be silent. They may have spoken. Through their Alama. actions and deeds. Who is this commoner I heard you are saying? Don't tell me you prefer a commoner from Ungu Kingdom. To the prince of Amuta kingdom. Don't tell me that. But I love him, father. What stupid love are you talking about? Father, but how do you, how do you expect me to give my consent to a man I never met? Then wait until you see him first. Wait! Father, shut up, Olama. I said shut up, Olama. You rejected a prince for a commoner. Why are you bent on disgracing this royal house? Why? How could you condescend so low, Olama? You should really be ashamed of yourself, you know. Who is talking? I will appreciate if you don't interfere in my matter. Do you understand? Quiet, Olama. You will not leave this palace again until you come back to your senses. Father! I have spoken. And that starts immediately. Set you right. Please, <laughs> Sulens. My princess, you have to take it easy with your son, please. My princess, all right. You're being too hard on yourself. Let me be. Let me be! I don't want to talk to anyone. Just get out. Leave! <laughs> Destiny. 
what is keeping the princess. She should be here by now. This is totally unlike her. What makes a nigga shine? What makes the heavens? Obina, you don't want to tell me what's the problem. Obina. Tell me, what is the problem? Princess Alama did not show up today. Why? What happened? I don't know. But it's totally unlike her. Didn't she send words to you? No. And that is what worries me. Or could it be that she doesn't want to see you again? from that. I know something is definitely wrong somewhere, but I will try and find out. Her father might frown at your relationship with the princess, so you have to be very, very careful. I will. Don't worry, Chita. Let's go and check our trap. Don't worry, I still have hope she will check on you. Igwe! In the chair, I greet you all. You're welcome. I will greet you too. I don't know why we should discuss this issue at all. The people of Ngbanku ignored our call when we invited them for our watch. So I don't know why we should give a thought to their invitation at all. Ichi Hama, yes. You are right. You are very correct. I'm not disputing that. But remember, they called and give us reason for not coming. They sincerely apologized. Are you getting it? So my humble opinion is that we give thought to this and honor their invitation. Mr. Obadu, shut up your mouth if you don't have anything good to say. But you always talk like a child. This time we're having a council of elders meeting. The people of Momaku apologized because they needed our help. Okay, let me ask you. Why would it take them three months before they apologize, if not for a selfish reason? And you are here. Man, you will start this or small head into pieces. Is it me you are calling a child? Huh? Yes, you are a child, and I'm beginning to wonder how you became an Iche in this culpability. What? Do, do, do you know how you became an Iche? What? Are you referring to me like that? Yes. How is my husband? Is it deep How is my father faring? I hope he's better, right? Uh, 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 calm down. Take it easy, princess. Uh, wise one. Speak to us. How is the king? The good news is that the king is awake, but very weak. And the bad news? We might lose him in a couple of days. Oh. If something urgent is not done. No, no, we, we can't lose him. Uh, wise one, uh, talk to us. What must we do so that we don't lose him? We don't want to lose him. Elulu, ask. You go to... Acharugu, the seer of Awanta, she has answers that you must do before the next market day. The gods have spoken. My daughter, come. Give way. 
Yes, I need daddy. Achanu the most beautiful, yet the most blessed amongst all women. We humble ourselves before you. Elders of full world, Lulu. You are welcome to my abode. Thank you so much, Achanu Gowan. Uh, yes, we have come to seek for you. Don't talk to a Chalugo in her own abbot. Whenever you find yourself here, all you do is sit and listen. I don't kill sick people, but I know the roots of their problem. Hmm. Your Igwe. Your Igwe is a great king. But his reign might soon come to an end. No, no. May the gods forbid. Elulu will never allow that to happen. No, no, no. no. Mm -mm. Never mm -mm. A man, no matter how great he is, cannot run away from his destiny. Go to your kingdom. I will be there tomorrow. Ask no further question. Go! Uh, uh, it's all, it's all, it's all right. Uh, we, we thank you so much, Acharyu Gowai. We are expecting you. Uh, uh, Goma, let us go. Is your ma? The news of Igwe's latest development of health has caused great fear in this kingdom. <sighs> what do you expect, my sister? Igwe Heliova is a good king. And the kingdom cannot afford to lose him. But why is the god silent? Why are they not saying anything? <laughs> I have this feeling that the king is hiding something from all of us. Yes. Maybe the gods are punishing him for his past. This your ma. Eh? Just a moment ago, you were praising him as the best king. And now the gods are punishing him from his past. Isuma, why are you this unstable? <laughs> See, I'm not being unstable. The fact that the king is a good king does not stop him from having a bad past. We have come to the end of this conversation before you get me into trouble. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Igwe, 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 you know the roots of your problem. Uh, uh, wise one, how do you mean? We don't understand. Igwe, 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 remember what happened before your first law left the palace. Think! You will think! Think!
As a Dibia, once again I greet you. You are welcome, Your Majesty. But you would have sent for me instead of you coming here. As a Dibia, when a woman is running for a dear life, she forgets to hold a dangling breast. Because the activity of the breast is not important at the moment. As a Dibia, the urgency of the matter at hand does not require any particular order. Tell me, what are the gods saying about my childlessness? What exactly is my fate? Eki, uye, afo, unko, kihegimia, zano, unanuwi huku. Your Majesty, the gods have not revealed anything. They are still silent. So matter. silent? For how long are they going to be silent? How long do they want me to be in this condition before they speak? Your Majesty, very soon. Very soon. I am sure they will speak in due time. Go. And even if I manage to hold on, what about my wife, the queen? She is crying virtually every day without eating anything, drinking anything. I know. It is not easy with her. It is not at all. Your Majesty, that is expected of her. But what I want to tell you is to calm her down. Calm her down. Your Majesty, the gods have not revealed anything. They are still silent. For how long am I going to be in this condition? Why won't the gods speak to me? I can't continue to see my wife cry her eyeballs out every day. But what will I do? It seems the gods have abandoned me. But I have to do something. I can't fold my arms and watch my family's name go into extinction. No. Gods of our land, please hear my cry. I went to Ezedibia yesterday. But the story is still the same. But the gods are yet to speak. And so I have decided to do something before my father's lineage is closed. My queen. My lord. I have decided to take a second wife. I, I, I am sorry that I have to do this. This seems to be the last resort for me. It's hard for me, but I, I, I can't sit and watch my family's name go off just like that. <laughs> my queen, please don't cry. <laughs> you, you, you are breaking me as you cry. You know how I hate to see your tears. <laughs> I beg you in the name of the gods, just give me your consent. And I promise you, everything will be well. that we salvage this situation, then I give you my consent. Oh. Thank you so very much. Thank you, my queen. May the gods bless you. Please come with me. I have a surprise for you. Come with me. <laughs> Honestly, I never knew you have this sense of humor. Now you know. Oh, yes. And I wish that you continue to make me laugh and happy for the rest of our lives. It will be my pleasure, my king and my husband. Oh, really? We shall see about that. Thank Meanwhile, you. you're welcome to my palace. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you, my husband. You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Greetings, my husband. Alolo, you're welcome. Let's see. <laughs> Greetings to you, Queen Mother. Arise, my co wife. Once again, you're welcome to our home. Thank you, Queen Mother. A beautiful queen. Yes, my lord. Please take her in and make sure that she is comfortable. Of course. That's what I'm supposed to do. What is really happening to me? It's exactly two years since I married a second wife. But she's yet to conceive. Why must Ilulu punish me like this? My father, my grandfather and the fathers before them never experienced childlessness. I wonder why mine is different. Should I seek for help from another deity? Since Elulu has suddenly gone cold and mute towards me, I know I am the custodian of our culture and tradition. But I must take action now than remain childless and watch my lineage closed. The spirit of my father and my forefathers would never forgive me if this happens. This situation must change, or I will take the bull by the horns. The gods may be silent, they may have spoken. Through their actions and deeds, the dots will connect. The doors will be open To explain the mystery So the mortals will learn from their history To protect their future The gods of us The gods of us Greetings, Queen Mother Greetings. What's wrong with you? Queen Mother, I don't know why gaze is fever. No, no. Queen Mother. When did this start? Just this morning. This morning. Yeah. The wisdom of the gods can never be understood. You are pregnant. Okay, mother, I don't think I am pregnant because I've not seen any sign of pregnancy. You have, but you didn't notice it. Hey, thank the grass of our land. At last, a cry of a baby will be heard in this palace. Hey, Igwe must hear this. Come, 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 come. Come, let's go. But Queen Mother, I don't, I don't worry yourself. The doors will be open. To explain the mystery. So the mortals will learn from their history. To protect their future. Greetings, Your Highness. Greetings to you, my husband. I was in a deep thought when you women came. I want to be left alone so that I can concentrate. Your Highness, you don't need to think further. The gods of our land have finally smiled on us. Lolo here is pregnant. What? Yes. Are you sure of what you are saying? Yes. 
Lolo. Are you really pregnant? so very much. Hi. Gods of our land, I thank you. You have indeed answered my prayers at last. My queen, I thank you so very much. Thank you, my lord. Hi. I am happy to witness this day. Of course, you are honored. Yes. I think this calls for a celebration. Really? Yes. so <laughs> happy. <laughs> <laughs> Lolo! <laughs> Lolo! What is the matter with you? Why are you crying? What is the problem with you? Why are you crying? Talk to me, what is it? What is it? Igwe! Yes? It's Ubana! Ubana? Yes! She pushed me down because of food! Oh, not again! So where is she now? Where is Ubana now? Where could she be? Talk to me! <coughs> sorry, sorry. She must be in front of the earth. Come with me. Let's go. Come with me. Come I am talking to you. What is the meaning of this? Is everything okay? When did you become this wicked? How could you put a pregnant woman on the ground knowing fully well what we have gone through to have our own child? How could you? Nai, how can you say such a thing? How can you even believe such a thing? Can I even lay my finger on her? Not to talk of even doing any other thing? Obana, don't force me to lose the love I have for you. This is not the first time you are doing this to her. I am warning you for the last time. If this would ever repeat itself, I will not spare you. With my lips, I will not spare you. Greetings, my husband. Greetings, please sit. Ugbana, my dear wife. Yes, my lord. If I don't tell you the truth, nobody will. I must be sincere with you that I am shocked and saddened by your recent attacks on Lolo. I don't know what she has done wrong to deserve the kind of treatment you are giving to her lately. Is it really a fault that she became pregnant before you? My queen, why are you allowing jealousy to get the better part of you? Why? But I'm innocent of all these allegations. Igwe, you've lived with me for so many years. And you know me better than any other person. Exactly the point. That is the more reason I am shocked by this your new lifestyle. Ogbana, I must be sincere with you that you have practically changed. Listen, you are my wife. And you know that I love you so much. But I want to put it to you today that I will never condone any further attacks on Lolo from you again. In the name of the gods, that woman is carrying my child. I want this to stop from this day. I am telling you all this because I love you and I wouldn't want anything to come between us because of this. Could you believe this accusation so easily? 
How? Is it not obvious? It is very clear. The evidence is there. But I want you to know that this will be the very last time I would ever have this conversation with you. I am done with you. You may leave. Thank you, my lord. Thank you. Lolo, I cannot thank you enough. Hmm. You have indeed proven to the whole world that I am a man. And I have a surprise for you. <laughs> I want to give you a treat that you will never forget in a hurry. Let's thank go. You, my husband. <laughs> You're and welcome. I will make you proud. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Please come and see it. Ha! Ah, at last. Um, all right. Whew. I am so excited. Like I was saying, I have a surprise for you. I want to treat you to a sumptuous meal that you would never forget in a hurry. I can't wait. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, Igwe, you hit me on the head with a stick without getting a help yet you said unless I apologize to Lolo I have lived with you for so many years without any issue you have chosen to believe whatever she said just because she's pregnant that is the more reason I should believe her. You are jealous of her. Igwe. I've been in this severe pain for some weeks now. Yet you allowed me to suffer. My head aches as if Mbachara drums are beating on my head. Yet, you allowed me to suffer to die. <gasps> Igwe, I tell you from today, you will suffer a severe terminal headache. So shall it be. You believe. But you are free to come back anytime you come to your senses. 
My husband. Are you sure you want her to go? I did not ask her to leave. Anyway, don't worry about that. I know that she definitely would come back. That's all right. If you think so. I know so. Now let's talk about our child. Mm -hmm. I know that you are carrying a great man here. Mm -hmm. Yes. I still remember everything. Hubana! Hubana was innocent! And your sickness was as a result of the curse she placed on you. Uh, wise one, please. How will the lame cross the troubled river? Tell us, how do we break this curse? Only his blood. Only his blood can save him. He may survive it this time. But when it happens again, he will surely die. Huh? Except his blood touches him. Hmm. <laughs> Wise one, you have been speaking to us in parables. Please, can you explain to us in simple language that all of us here will understand? Yes, yes, yes. please. Yes. How can he be healed by his blood? That is left for you all to find out. Huh? Huh? I take my leave. But why is one? But, but, but. That reminds me. How is your father the king? He was asleep when I left the palace. But he's still very weak. And what is this day more of your kingdom doing about it? I don't know. He said he will be fine. I wish there is something I could do to help my father. He is such a nice man and I wouldn't want anything to happen to him. Nothing will happen to him. Your father is a good man and a good king. I'm sure the gods of your land will spare his life. I hope so. I really hope so. Because I can no longer bear to, to watch him suffer in pain. It's okay, my princess. Mm. Nothing will happen to him. You say? And everything will be fine again, I promise you. Okay. Cheer up for me. <laughs> I have something for you. Come on. I love you. <laughs> Lolo, you have killed me. You have succeeded in making me believe that Ugbana was trying to hurt you. How could you do this, Lola? How could you? Igwe, why are you blaming me for your own mistakes? Besides, I did not ask you to hit. But you head. made me do it. You even said she tried to kill you. Did I tell you not to get her help to stop her headache? Why are you now blaming me, Igwe? Now I know that you are a very bad woman. Yes. You have made me lose the love and respect I have for you. You have betrayed my confidence. <laughs> Igwe, I am only condoning all these things from you because of your condition. I did nothing wrong. And you should stop accusing me. Just pray. Pray that I survive this. Else, I will cause the day that you were born. Igwe, now I know that your condition has affected your sense of reasoning. I take my leave. So this is the reason I have been suffering all these years. Why didn't I believe you, Ubana? I am so sorry. I am so sorry, Ubana. What can I do to appease your kind spirit? Please forgive me wherever you are. I am so sorry.
I saw Obina under a tree along the road that leads to the stream. The way he was looking around, I think he's waiting for someone. Which Obina are you talking about? Ah, you don't know Obina again. Obina from Kingdom. What? I am sure he's standing there waiting for Olama. Yeah, Olama. Are you serious? This boy has stepped on a cobra still. Come with me. Show your face in this kingdom after all my warnings. I'll make you pay for this insubordination. Drag him along. Igwe, you have to realize that Ikena is the prince of this kingdom. I don't see why you like questioning every little thing he does. You call it a little thing? Your son flaunts my orders on daily basis and you are here calling it a little thing. Your son beats up anybody at will. You call it a little thing. Your son sleeps virtually with all the maidens in this kingdom, yet you call it a little thing. Your son disregards everybody in this kingdom, including elders and even the SMO, and you are here calling it a little thing. But Igwe, why do you like taking sides with commoners over your own son? Your only son, Igwe. Look at what you call it. Taking sides. Now for your information, those people you refer to as commoners are my subjects. It will interest you to know that any attack on them is an attack on me. Oh, what about an attack on your own son? He is the one attacking them, not the other way around. Igwe, you see the problem I have with you. You have become so blind over your own son's welfare. Simply because you want to be the good thing. Now, will you stop that nonsense, woman? How the... <laughs> Indiji, hmm? what kind of a thing is this? Eh? Hmm. Everyday sickness. To this sickness, tomorrow's sickness, when will this end? Eh? I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> Honestly, I'm tired. Because of Anand, when will this end? The prince is here. What's going on here? Why is everyone silent? My prince. Your father, Igwe, has fallen sick again. What? And, and, my prince, who is this boy and why is, why is he being dragged on the ground? And what business of yours is that? Eh? Let's get it. Hand him over that tree. And make sure he doesn't escape. He will escape you. Oh, holy, holy, holy. Sorry, my love. I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. Tell me the truth, princess. Is this your plan? May the gods forbid. Why would I do that? I mean, wh why would I do that for the one I love? I can never. Why then did you not show up? I was under the tree and I waited for several hours before your brother arrested me with his guards. I'm so sorry. I was forbidden from leaving the palace, so I was looking for a very good opportunity to sneak out. How then did they know I was there? 
I don't know. I, I was surprised to see you tied up here. I'm sorry, please. I was waiting for you under the tree, but you never showed up. I'm sorry. What does your brother want from me? Why am I here? I don't know. I just got this thing. Okay, I, I will go and talk to him now. I will make sure you are released immediately. Please, I'm coming. Why are you shouting my name in that manner? What's the problem? You are my problem! What has been done to you to deserve such punishment from you? It flouted my elders and that of father to stay away from you and this kingdom. Oh really? You disobey father every day, he has never punished you. So what right do you have to punish another who disobeys you? What right? Are you comparing me the prince of this kingdom? The prince of Umuelulu? The unbeatable warrior to a mere hunter from Umbu kingdom? Look at you. In all your acclaimed glory and status, you are still nothing compared to him. Nothing! What? You heard me. <coughs> How dare you speak to me in that manner? That idiot will pay with his head for this insult. I can go on. Please tell us what to do so we can save the life of our king. Speak to us in the language we will understand. I mean, speak to us in a plain language what you mean by only his blood will save him. Oh no. Oh no, go now. I tell you, go on. Where is your king? Our king is at the palace. Hmm. But you don't know where his blood is. <laughs> Blind people. Blind people. Please, I shall go. We are but mere mortals. Talk to us in the plain language, Biko. Uh, please, please. The blood of the king lies with him in the palace. I tell you, go. How? How? Go. Go and ask no further questions. I will be there tomorrow. The fate of your king has been decided by the gods. Go. Huh? Go! We shall be expecting you, Acharugo. Uh, yes, Acharugo. Thank you so much. Till then, let's go. Please, Acharugo. Please revive my husband. Do not let him die. Please. <laughs> The king will live only if he drinks from the calabash and only his own blood will make him do that. Uh, uh, Asharugo, in that case, let, let the prince do that. No! It wasn't the Prince Ikena. Uh, uh, who then does, does that? The princess? Uh, the princess. Not the princess. I can do it. No! Him! Oh, yeah. Him! He is the son of the king! Huh? Acharugo! What are you talking about? What are you saying? Untie him! Impossible! 
He is my prisoner. And he remains tied until I say so. Yes. Shut your mouth, Prince Ikenna. Who are you to make such utterance? Do you want to test up my against the gods? Gods! Untie the boy and bring him here. What? What is going on? I... I... You so come on, come on. Mother, I don't get it. Point of correction, Acharugo. I did not send her away. She left on her own will. Yes, she left on her own. <laughs> but you did not stop her. Because you thought she was not pregnant at that time. The standing before you is the son she bore for you. Ugbana was not pregnant when she left the palace. How come she bore me a son? How? Yes, she was not pregnant. Hmm. <laughs> what is really happening? My husband, the king, has gotten another wife, all to no avail. The gods are not even helping matters with their silence. I am disturbed for the inability to conceive. Yes, but seeing the effect it has on the Iwe is giving me a cause for concern. What must I do? Can I really effect a change? I think I have to try. I will go all out for this. Even if he takes my head. I love you so much, my husband. And I will do everything to make you happy. Everything. And she set out to look for solution to their childlessness. Did I say their childlessness? Yes! Because she had Lola in mind too.
Obona enters the compound of the almighty Okaka, the great Dibia of Isienu, who is believed to have been reincarnated from Ogu, the paramount gods of Isienu. No woman has ever dared to enter inside his compound because of the aura and clouds that gathers around Okaka. Most him because the path to his shrine was never an easy one his demands were said to be as strangers but this brave woman from umwe lulu gave him a real visit against all us Finally, she entered inside the dreaded shrine of Ogu. How does she? What could she be thinking right now? You dare enter the shrine of Ogu? I am sorry, the Great One. I, I, I am in a fear. Think, have the courage to sit before Ogu, yet engulfed with great fear. Go, never return. Ogu does not speak to frail mortals. I am sorry, the Great One. I won't be scared anymore. I am calm now. Please. My advance are always outrageous, given to you before coming. I heard the Great One, but I need answers. Does that mean you are willing to do anything? Yes, I am willing to do anything, as long as I and my co-wife the guest a song for my dear husband, the king, I am willing to do anything. There's no solution to your problem. That was why the ghosts of your land were silent because they cannot see your problem without purifying solution. I don't understand the great one. Women are not familiar with the tales of the spirit. How dare you interrupt me with a question while I'm still speaking? Go! Livia at once. She left. Though more confused than ever, but didn't let her fear weigh her down. She became more determined to look for solution. Obama returned after two days, but this time, there was no arms of fear around her. She was brave and determined. Okaka told her that let Igwe Ebubedike, your father, sacrifice an innocent child for protection, and his mother, Dibugu, cursed him with Ingeme, the great gods of Ugwani. But the cry of a child will never be heard in his lineage which happened after you were born he told her that the curse could not be broken because Elulu and Ngene were in conflict over what the late Hugo did Okaka's revelation unsettled her that she was unrelenting she volunteered to do whatever it takes including giving her own life to appeal in Gene. She was asked to bring the woman's only surviving daughter, Urewan, and she set out without delay. The gods may be silent, but they may have 
have spoken Through their actions and deeds The dots will connect The dots will be open She works for us without food nor water As a penance for a sin she never committed Such was her heart the future, the gods are us. The gods are Maybe silent, but they are reading every single meaning. The maiden told Ubana that Ure Mwani was married to a man from Abaje and it now dawned on Ubana that her journey has just begun. Abaje is five kingdoms away but she made up her mind and was ready for the tax. Ubana left the compound and set out for Abaje immediately. <laughs> Ubana later found Urewani after two days of searching and sat with her for a chat. Ubana told Urewani of her mission that as well reminded Urewani of her brother's ill death many years ago and she wept bitterly but agreed to help Ibana in any way she can and Ubana's joy knew no bound. Urewani stood in place of her mother Dibugu as Okaka performed some rituals to appease the Bugu spirit. With the release of a life bed by Okaka, Obana became free of the Bugu's curse. Ubana was pregnant before she left the palace. Though she found out a day after, Obina here is your son. Wait, please let me understand this. Are you saying Princess Ola Maya is my sister? No. She is not your sister. Neither is Prince Ikenda. Uh -uh. Acharuko. What nonsense are you talking about? As I was saying, Obana was free from Dibuku's curse. But that does not include Lola, who was so determined to have a child for the Igwe at all costs. Hacharugo, what rubbish are you talking about? What exactly do you mean by that? When Obana noticed she was pregnant, she went to Ogun and made a vow. 
that unless you unite with your son, Obina, you will die of the curse he placed on you. This she did because she knew that Loma's pregnancy was not yours. Not mine? Yes. Lolo, what do you have to say to that? Speak! Speak! Ikwe, please forgive me. Hey! Hey! hey. I am sorry. Hi! I was only trying to make you happy. Hey! Please. No, no. Hey! For how long will I remain childless? Is it that the king is important or that we are not fertile? The Igwe loved Ubana so much and couldn't have married me had she given him a child. I can't allow her to take him before me because that would make my stay in this palace worthless. I must be pregnant at all costs before Ubana beats me to it. I have never been a loser. No, and I will not start now. That is why I have come. So that you can help me with your ever potent medicine. <laughs> My medicine is potent, yes. But I'm afraid it might not work for you and your husband, the king. Yes. What do you mean? Iche Obaka. Um, the problem is with the king, not you or your co-wife. The problem is from the gods. And there's not going to be any solution. How? You see, the thing is, shit. That is the only solution. Because they be silent. Oh yeah. They may have spoken. I have always known that Igwe is the one with the problem. The dots were connected. But I must give him a child to remain relevant in this palace. Or must I sleep with a Chiobaka to be pregnant? Can he be trusted? How am I sure he will not use it against me later? I want to be pregnant, yes. But I don't want scandals at all in my marriage. But what must I do? Hmm. This is really a tough one. A very tough one indeed. I think I know what to do. Can we go in now? <laughs> Chewbacca, we need to talk. We, we, we can always talk inside. There is something I want us to yes, sort yes. out let's first. Just, let's go. Come. Go on behind you. How do you mean it's your back? You know what I mean. You know. I don't understand what you mean, Ichiobaka. I am lost here. I don't understand you. I am lost here. Please explain. 
I came immediately because the messenger told me it was urgent. Why have I not seen you for over one month now? You suddenly disappeared after I got you pregnant. I don't understand you. Was I supposed to still hang around you? But that wasn't our agreement. What, what, which agreement? What we had was not a one-off affair. You must be making yourself available to me at least every fortnight. Oh. Oh? Are you threatening me? I'm not threatening you. But you know I hate repeating myself. And I hate anybody that make me repeat myself the most. Do what I just say. Or you have yourself to blame for it. Ichi! Ichi Obaka! We shall see. Yes, we shall see. How could that useless Ichu Obaka expect me to be sleeping with him against our initial agreement? That imp, what exactly does he want from me? No, I can't take this. I can't let that he go to ruin me or my marriage because of his lust. I want to get Obana out of the palace. And he chew back and want me to go first. No. I think I will have to see a jaw of fear for solution. Yes. Good day to you, Ichiubaka. <laughs> Good day, my beautiful Lola. <laughs> I know you will come back. And I'm willing to forgive you. <laughs> um, uh, Ichiubaka, uh, sorry. Are you sure you still want us to do this? Why not? You are beautiful and very sweet. And... I mean, which man in his right senses will not want to come the second time after taking the first eh? <laughs> Let's go in. Ichie Obaka is not an ordinary medicine man as you people think. He has acquired some powers that have made him spiritually too strong. You cannot kill him, but you can make him mad. Take this egg, strike it right on his feet, and his senses will depart his body immediately. <laughs> Why all this delay? Let's get, go inside. <clears throat> what? What is the meaning of this? How dare you? I mean, what have you done to me? Let me see how you will sleep with me again. <laughs> you will remain like this until your death. <clears throat> and you will get what you so desired. Hmm? <laughs> 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 I take my leave. Hmm. <laughs> my son. <laughs> Go to 
Dio pana. <laughs> Trying to tell me that Obaka, the famous madman, is my father. Is that, is that why he's been pestering me in my dreams? Now tell me this is not true. Tell me, tell me everything you have said here is a lie. And the supposed princess. Who is our biological father? Igwe, I could not take in again after I had the kidnap. So I faked my pregnancy then. Huh? huh? I planned with my mother to convince you and take me along with her until I deliver. Hey. So that we could be able to cover up my fake pregnancy. <laughs> and arrange for a child. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. We stole Olama from Udoye of Amakuma Kingdom. Hey. Immediately his wife put to bed. Abomination. Hello, Melo. Please Abomination. forgive me. Ube, please. This woman is evil. <laughs> this woman is evil. <laughs> On your job. Hey, <laughs> no wonder, no wonder Iken has been so arrogant like his true father, instead of being noble like our Igwe, Igwe Iyeliova. <laughs> so I allowed my beautiful queen of many years to go because of this traitor. Anyway, I have myself to blame. Mm, Igwe. I Please forgive me. Please let me beg you. Igwe. Igwe, forgive me. Fate is in the hands of the gods. Mr. Dibia, over to you. She will dance around the kingdom naked, after which she'll be banished from this kingdom for her crime. Since they do not have royal blood, Ikenna and Olama will lose their status as prince and princess of this kingdom. Hmm. They will go and search for their paternal origin unless they stay in this kingdom as God and me. Hmm. The gods have spoken. No! Princess Olama stays. Father, if I am the prince of this kingdom, then Olama will be by my side as the princess. Hmm. Her origin will be traced later. Please, Father. I can't live without her. Hmm. Well, Olama has been my only source of joy in this palace. Hmm. She is still my daughter regardless. Mm. So if all of us could find a reason for her to stay, some she stays. What about me, father? I am still the prince. Hmm? The, the only heir to the throne. You will sort that out with the god. No, never. Yes, yes. <clears throat> you can't do this to me. This is my home. Huh? And no one has a right to dance. No, I don't. Take him out of this palace you this minute. You can't do that. Get out! You don't have a right to talk Take him out! Father, this Take is my house! Out. What, what, hey, hey, you! Father, listen! My father, 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 both in this kingdom and in my heart. I love you so much. <laughs> I love you too.
Oh, you fed him, man, I didn't mind. 